Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm back with another video, and today I'm going to show you how to convert a battery like this. This is a flat top Samsung 3500 milliamp hour battery into a button top 18650 battery. Okay, now of course, before anything, um, you can use temporary methods, and they all this, this by the way, this is not going to be a permanent method. And the reason why I say that because you can't just simply sandpaper this. Get it, you know, uh, kind of rough it up a little bit and solder, place some solder in there, like a glob of solder, enough of a gap to make that contact with the radio. And that'll work. But the reason why I don't want to do that, because I want to keep these batteries as is, and I bought four of them, because I want to use these for other applications, for example, flashlights. Uh, there's some other radios that do have fl uh, flat top. I mean, do require flat top batteries. I believe I have a Midland. I no longer have that radio. I know there's a Midland radio that does have, that actually requires flat top batteries. Okay. And I want to keep these. And these are, and the reason, another reason why, these are very inexpensive compared to the button top batteries. Actually, uh, as much as 60% less expensive then button top batteries okay and like i said a uh, permanent method you can put uh so sandpaper and put a solder and that'll work fine and i don't want to do that because i want to keep this as it is so uh method is very simple is use a neodymium magnet okay let me put it right here a little tiny little magnet there let me zoom in it's very small uh this one is about five millimeters thick I mean, wide and one millimeter thick. Okay. And you can buy these from Amazon. I, I, off the top of my head, I forgot the price of that. I think it was about $12. I, I got more than actually, but these are for other applications. But these are very, very powerful magnets. Um, Very inexpensive. You may even have a few lying around and around the house for other stuff that you had, and, and I, I didn't have quite a few, but I wanted to go with this size because exactly almost to the T for the button top. And all you're going to do is just place the magnet on the positive portion of the battery. And it'll hold right there. I try to center it as best as I can. Okay. And as you can see, I have the D109 right here ready. And I am just going to put the battery in there. Now it could get tricky because the magnet will kind of slide away. But it makes enough of a contact. You can see. And it'll work fine. Okay. And then when you want to remove it, just pull it out. There you go. Okay. Now, there's one thing that I want to stress about these batteries. When you charge it, just remove the magnet. Okay. And then go ahead and charge your battery. Okay. I will not charge the bat. I will not charge the battery with the magnet installed on it. I will not do that. It's just my preference. Okay. And then when you want to use it, then put the magnet back. Okay. It gets tricky with this magnet because it's so tiny. And you put the magnet back. Okay. And put it back in there. Okay. And it works fine. All right. So and that works well. And you save money on these batteries. These batteries are a lot. More inexpensive than the button top counterpart. Now, this is only for radios. Um, there are other applications you can do with these batteries, um, especially if you need to stack them. Um, that met that I would not recommend using magnets. I would do something more permanent, like the soldering solution. And also, a radio like this that tends to keep charging, even you know, especially when you're outside because of the solar panel. Um, I would not. I would just use a button, uh, regular button top for these. This is always constantly charging, and I don't want to leave the magnet in there while it's charging. I don't want to do that. But other than that, for a radio like this, it'll work fine. 
I tested it for many days and it'll work fine. Okay. So there you go. And we're good to go. And I hope that helps you with your, you know, you get a, you run into across of these batteries. Like in my case, I ordered these. Um, I didn't realize it was an error. <laughs> and I was going to actually uh, get a refund and send these back. I said, you know what? I'm going to keep. I'm going to take one for the team and I'm going to try this out. So I Googled how to convert these into, uh, how to convert a flat top into a uh, button top. And there's all kinds of solutions. Some people say use foil paper. You can do that. Um, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to stick foil paper in my radio. I don't want to do all that. I like this method better because when I want to charge it, I just remove the magnet, put it there, and I can go ahead and charge it with no problem. Okay. So there you go. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.